Hello Synapse community, my name is Ryan Mitchidomer, I'm a product manager on the Azure Synapse Analytics team, and today is the March 2023 Synapse Monthly Update. We've got SQL, we've got Apache Spark for Synapse, we've got Synapse Data Explorer, but not just that, we also have our Community Spotlight. In addition to the Community Spotlight, we also have a very exciting swag giveaway. So if you would like some swag, or also would like to find it if you were our community spotlight, definitely stay tuned to the end of the video. We're gonna be highlighting two features today. Private endpoint support for Cosmos DB with Synapse Data Explorer, as well as multi-column distribution. Well, let's start with private endpoints. Hi, this is Vincent from the Azure Data Explorer team. Today I wanted to quickly show you how to connect to a Cosmos DB that is behind a private endpoint. So we're looking at uh, Azure Data Explorer connecting to Azure Cosmos DB. How do I create this managed private endpoint? I go to networking and I have the manage private endpoints tab. I'm going to go there. I'm going to add a new one. I'm going to choose a name and I call it my Cosmos DB private endpoint. Resource type important. I'm going to choose document DB. That's the old name of Cosmos DB. And I'm going to choose the database account of Cosmos DB. And I'm going to choose SQL. It's the only one available. If there ever there's another one, we need the SQL endpoint because that's the one we support. Uh, description, please approve. Okay, so it's a two step process. First, Data Explorer is going to create and manage a private endpoint. It needs to be approved by the owner of Cosmos DB. Otherwise, there wouldn't be any point to having a private endpoint. Anybody could just punch a hole through the wall. So you, you need Cosmos DB to approve it. This takes several minutes. So I'm going to fast forward to it. Okay, so we have the managed private endpoint is created. And if we refresh the list, we should see it here. All right, so that's created on the Azure Data Explorer side. Now let's go see Cosmos DB side. Now you can see that I have a managed private endpoint that is pending. I'm going to click on it and I'm going to approve it. And yeah, okay. That takes several minutes as well. So I'm going to fast forward that part too. Okay, so Cosmos DB is done approving the private endpoint. Let's close that. Let's look at the public access. Let's disable it to make sure here, yeah, I want to make sure that there's no public access. So ADX cannot go to the public route. And again, we're gonna wait several minutes. I'm gonna fast forward. Okay, finally, we got the private endpoint of Cosmos DB configures. What you need is you need to have access to this and that you do it with manage private endpoint that you create on ADX side, you prove it on, a, on Cosmos DB, and then your connection is able to go through and you can adjust your data from Cosmos DB to Data Explorer. Next, let's take a look at the general availability for multi-column distribution. When table size grows larger and query complexity increases, queries start to run slower due to heavy data skew or data movements. This March, we're excited to announce the release of multi-column distributions. It delivers a more even distribution of table data, reduces data skew, and can improve query performance. Adding this support to Synapse will also simplify customers' migration from other platforms that allow multi-column distributed tables. Consider this example where a table is distributed on product key. The choice of distribution column is causing data skew and causing queries to run slow while waiting for, for results from some distributions. By using the multi-column distribution feature, when a table is distributed on product key and region key, the data distribution is more balanced and queries run faster. Multi-column distribution is available in dedicated SQL pools with DW compatibility level of 50 or higher. Use the simple alter database scoped configuration set command to change the DW compatibility level of your connected dedicated SQL pool. For more information, please read the tech community blog post on multi-column distribution. 
Hope you enjoy using this feature. Thank you. Thanks for that demo. Now, without further ado, let's talk about the giveaway. It's very exciting, very easy. First things first, yeah, that's right. You must be an Azure Synapse Influencer. So if you're not already a Synapse Influencer, sign up. It's very easy, it takes a couple seconds. There's a link in the description for this video to do that. Then once you're an influencer, I highly encourage you, if you would like to win, that is, to make a post with the hashtag Synapse Influencers. Also, at mention Azure underscore Synapse. That's all you have to do. Hashtag mention us. Ideally, you probably want to repost some of our content. You can also create your own content. It's all fair game. We want to see it all. On to you guys. Now, there is a cutoff for this giveaway, April 11th. So we're going to be looking at all of our top contributors up to April 11th. And once we've seen that, we can take our pick of the cream of the crop, so to speak. And that's as easy as it is. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that we are, as you can imagine, we do love each tier of the uh, influencer program, the uh, challenger, contender, and the other one, there are three. And we've actually bracketed this out by contribution level. So, you know, just because you are a champion doesn't mean you're gonna sweep all of the awards. There's some awards for everybody. And this also, if you have not done so already, if you would like to jump up a level, this is the time for you. Just use the same link for signing up and adjust your level as appropriate. And away you go. And now that we have the giveaway underway, we're going to be talking about our community spotlight. So again, best way to get our attention, of course, is hashtag Synapse Influencers. It does have an S, right? Am I going crazy here? It does have an S, so you definitely want to add an S for uh, Synapse Influencers. And each month we look at, hey, who are the people that are really making a great impact? Who is really contributing to the community, bringing everything together? And this month, I think we have the perfect person Richard Lewis, that's right, at Go Go Richie. Now, when you hear a name like that, you think speed, and that is exactly right. Richard was so fast at amplifying our content that he actually announced new blogs and videos faster than we could this month. Thanks for being a Synapse fan, Richard. We had some great competition for the spotlight this month, but the question is, who will be in the spotlight next month? As always, my name is Ryan Majidimer. Tell us in the comments what was your favorite feature this month. You can follow me on Twitter. You can follow Azure Synapse on Twitter, Azure underscore Synapse. Like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one.